Our pose today is standing side lateral stretch. So I'm here and I'm moving into five-pointed star, just feeling myself grounded with energy. I'll take my hands, bring my hands back to the hip area, and then I'll be slowly moving my right foot so that it's in a 90 degree position, making sure that the inside of the front foot is parallel to the front area. From here, I'll be moving into a lot of the alignment details that Michelle did previously when she worked with Warrior Two, making sure that the right knee is going toward the third or the fourth toe and letting my arms come up one more time. So holding your Warrior Two, feeling yourself working strong with energy. Inhaling here, and on my exhale, I'm going to bend my right elbow. Let my forearm rest on the right thigh area. Start position might be keeping that right knee in line with the ankle and bringing the hand up straight above. Breathing steadily here. Inhale if you want and giving yourself a long diagonal stretch, feeling that energy going from the left foot all the way up to the left fingertip area. Breathing steadily. And if you want to take it to one more step, Slowly letting that right hand come down, finding the block on the floor to the outside of your foot and holding yourself in full, complete side lateral angle. Breathing in and breathing out, pressing down with both feet and inhale as you lengthen the right leg. Let yourself rise up, put the hands on the hip area, come back to center. Make sure that you have the insides of the feet parallel to each other placing the hands on the hip area, and take a recovery breath before we go to the opposite side. As Barbara demonstrates the second side, some of the benefits are that it strengthens the legs, opens up the sides of the body, broadens the chest, and it tones the waist into the hips. You can see the stretch all the way from the outside of the right foot moving up the side body and out to the fingertips. If you'd like to give yourself more of a challenge, you can add the bind by slowly taking the left arm in front of you and the right arm behind you. Hook your hands and externally rotate the right shoulder bone, opening up the ribs and rolling the torso upward, gazing skyward. As she exits the pose, releasing the bind, pressing back to lateral angle, and then pressing firmly into the feet and coming back up to stand. Let your hands find prayer position, breathing in and breathing out taking some recovery breaths after this powerful pose. 